It's April, May. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Ace Attorney Phoenix Wright. Uh, we've just exposed April May for the liar that she is, and her <laughs> demeanor has changed greatly. So, what's it to you, porcupine head? That stupid clock doesn't matter, okay? She did it, and she should die for it. Die. Well. All right, well, calm down, baby. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. This is a court of law, and the witness will remain calm. <laughs> oh, 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 silly me. Still twitchy. Did I, um, like, was it? I guess I did, Tiki. Wink. Nobody saw that. Scary. I saw it. Now, Mr. Bay, let me ask. You like Arby's. Tell me, how did you know the weapon was a clock? <sighs> oh. What a face. She's big mad. Mm -mm, nope, nope. Mm -mm. Oh, dear. She's Does the defense have an opinion on this behavior? Yeah, she did it. Okay, this is it. Yes, Your Honor. Allow me to explain how I see the truth of the matter. Miss April May, you knew the weapon was a clock because... I don't actually remember which one to say. What you think, Butts? Um, we can look at the court records if we need. I don't know if it'll help, but... I don't think it will. No. I don't think she held it. You had heard about it before? Oh, I remember what to do. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I think it's you've heard about it before. I don't think she's held it. Yeah. The witness had never held the clock in her hand. However, she had heard that it was a clock. She heard? That is correct, Your Honor. There is no other way she could have known the thinker was a clock. And I can show you the proof. Oh, I, I am interested to find out how we are going to show it to you. <laughs> well, this is interesting. Let's see it then. That's what you want to hear your lawyer say. I can't wait to see how I figure out how to do show this. Show me evidence proving that witness heard the murder weapon was a clock. I do remember this. Oh, the wiretap. The wiretap. There it is. Have a look at this. Oh, ah, nice ooh, <laughs> crap! Yeah, I found this in Miss May's room. <gasps> what else did you find in Miss May's room? Well, Mr. Rob, please explain to the court what this is. Miss April May, you were tapping the victim, Miss Mia May's phone, were you not? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Is your honor, this is irrelevant. I'm not entirely sure that it is. Objection overruled. What's going to do? Troubles me that our witness is in a position of a wiretap. This is outrageous. Does this defense truly claim that the witness was tapping her feet? Absolutely. Even if that was the case, which is not, you still have to prove one thing. Did the victim ever say that the weapon was a clock on the phone? Do you have to keep prove that? I think not. Oh, yeah? Ooh. I think I can. It's simple. <laughs> Here's my proof. It punches the proof the that the victim <laughs> said on the phone that the weapon was a clock right, is. So we examine the the cell phone. Uh, yeah, check. The... Check. Oh yeah, well, yeah, they keep yeah, going. They say it's, it's not clock. working. Its name. It's a clock. It's a clock. Uh, what's up? You haven't called in a while. Oh, crap, it's not that. Oh, yeah, because she didn't have possession of the phone. What? But wait, this proof that the victim said... Oh, wait, I'm sorry. I was thinking of the wrong person. Never mind. I was thinking it was uh, April, May, not, not the victim. Proof that the victim said on the phone that the weapon was... Yeah. yeah oh, okay, yeah, well, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's the cell phone. Okay, let's cell phone again. Take that! Again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've seen that already. Get... Listen once more to the conversation between the defendant and the victim. Beep. <laughs> Where's my Arby's? Hang on. <laughs> Welcome to Arby's. What can I get you? Oh, yes. I'm... Hold on one second. Hang oh, on. Yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I want right. a large Coke. Uh, Let me get the supersized beef and cheddar. Fuck you, <laughs> do, do you have the chocolate turnovers in 
right now? Hang on. This is, hang on. <laughs> Let me fast forward here. Uh, hold on for me again. Time. It's oh, yeah. a clock, she said. It. Made to look like that statue. Tells you the time. Miss April May, you used a wiretap to listen to this conversation. You tapped their wires on a cell phone. <laughs> That's how you. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> How'd you do that? That's how you knew the thinker was a clock. I guess she called the landline. Tapped a cordless phone. Am I wrong? I. Ooh. I. Thank you. Your Honor, this is ridiculous. Your Honor, look at the witness's face. Does she seem amused? I'm to not you? looking at her face. The defense demands an answer. <laughs> oh, witness, answer the question. Did you tap the phone? Oh, Miss May? Shut up, oh. all of you. What gives you the right to talk to me like that, you new lawyer? <laughs> Ooh, woo. <laughs> It's no fair, all of you ganging up on me like that. Oh, so I'm the bad girl, is that it? Is that it? It's literally it. No, is that it? <laughs> <laughs> I did it. The court's seen the real Miss April May now. Now to deal the final blow. Um, I don't know if she did it, because we saw in the first episode some guy did it. Yeah. So, why the wiretap? I think that's Why did you tap her phone? Same reason. Because I'll tap anything. <laughs> it's just trying question. to think of a joke for that, yeah. <laughs> Do I have to? Isn't this a murder trial? Isn't it? Isn't tippity tapping uh, irre irrelevant? She's saying exactly what Edgeworth wants her to say. Miss May. Cuts over and they're like whispering in each other. Yeah. I'm telling this. Little paper you were tapping the victim's phone. I hardly call that irrelevant. <laughs> oh, why does court not condone the defense's tone of voice? He has a point. Mm -hmm. Well, Miss May, do you have an explanation for the court yet? Yeah. Can you prove you had nothing to do with the murder, even though you tapped your phone yet? Yeah. Ha! Huh. I'd like to see her pull that off. I'd like to see her pulled up. Oh, um. Who wants to see me dance? <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Mr. Liar. I saw that evil, evil Gwyn. You were probably thinking, <laughs> I'd hey, like to see her pull that off, weren't you? The entire court goes, pull that off! Pull that <laughs> off! <laughs> well, you're not the first man who's thought that. And of course, I can and will. No one object. You can't be serious. No way. Yeah. <laughs> Take it away, saxophonist. <laughs> I assure you I'm serious, Mr. Wallier. Um, okay. Okay. So the queuing happened around 9 o'clock at night. Why, that's just when I was getting out of the shower. <laughs> that was the bell boy. Room service? Yes, he gave me room service all night. Iced coffee, I believe it was. Okay. Iced coffee. You know, like normal coffee, but cold. Like my showers. <laughs> if you don't drink it quick, the ice melts, and then you have regular cold coffee. Uh, iced coffee. Mm -hmm. Think I'm making this up? Ask the bellboy. Wink. <gasps> Surprise witness. Here go the witness was not at the scene at the time of the murder. <laughs> Ah, but then how did she see the murder? Oh, so where does this leave us? Oh. It's my great displeasure to inform you. The witness appears to have been tip tapping the victim's telephone. However, this is just a separate crime with no bearing on the current case whatsoever. Unrelated. Her testimony stands. She saw the defendant, Mayfay, commit the murder. No, they're going to just let her walk no, away. No, 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 no. There's no way I can win this unless I tie Miss May to the murder somehow. Oh, well, does the defense have anything to say? Huh. Um, well, come on, think of something. Um, it would be much more dramatic to call the bellboy as a witness. But, like, if she, at 9 o'clock, if she was getting iced coffee, she couldn't have seen the murder. Because she keeps saying it was at exactly 9 o'clock, mm -hmm. and she just said, now, I was tapping her phone, I couldn't see it. Hmm. Give All us right. a save. Oh, yeah. 
then just go for it. I, I don't think there's any wrong answer here. I think they'll kind of kick us on the right path. I'm going to continue examining this man. Mm, that's what I want to yes. do, too. Oh, my. Right. On with the cross-examination. <laughs> what exactly do you think is left to examine, Mr. Wright? This sacred man has admitted to the wiretap yet. But that bears no relevance to the case at hand. Murder. There's no way you can prove any connection. Oh, then I believe the cross-examination is over! And Mr. Edgewood, does the prosecution have any other witnesses to call? And then you're right, we're good. And she's the last. What? But that means... Maya's guilty? Uh, I think we went the wrong Wait! Way. Your Honor! Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was a bit right. The defense would like there to call is. the bellboy after all. I've changed oh. my mind. It is, it is, it is. I'm going to allow this. As I thought. It may have my right answer you, Mr. Wright. Should you question the bellboy? And Miss April Mesa by proves to be solid. And then, by default, your client, Miss Mega Faye, will be pronounced guilty. That's, that's how the law works. Are you prepared to accept my condition? Edgeworth. He's got me backed into a corner. I don't see any other way to take this. And you will take I accept. <laughs> oh, <Yeah. laughs> Very well. The court calls the hotel bellboy to the stand. I don't want to know your name or just the bellboy. Has the bellboy just been waiting outside this whole time? Yeah, yeah, they go get him. They go just have to be in the lobby. <laughs> Order Grubhub and when he shows up, throw him <laughs> yeah, grab him. Yeah. <laughs> he certainly does look like a bellboy. I know the bellboys. Oh, he's still got the tray. <laughs> still yes, delivering. Sir. I received your summons in the middle of work, sir. I'm happy to be of service, sir. Well, that tea looks rather heavy. <laughs> the witness may begin his testimony. I also enjoy tea if you're not, if you're done with it. <laughs> Very good, Sam. Aha! Uh -huh, she ordered coffee! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, she did! <laughs> I don't think that comes up. <laughs> I'm the head bellboy at the Fine Gate Water Hotel, business for four generations, sir. I believe I received a call at eight in the morning, well, there you go, from my guest, Miss May. She asked for an iced coffee to be brought to her at nine o'clock on the dot, sir. Here's a photo. I brought it to her at a precisely the requested time, of course. And I delivered the iced coffee to our guest, Miss May herself. Oh, he is looking down. <laughs> like, yeah. he knows he's got priority. Now, I see the defense may begin the cross examination. Yeah. Right. I'm ready. I hope. This is it. I can't prove Miss May was involved with Ooh. the murder now. We're in triple overtime. Yeah, we'll be gentlemen. finished. Here we go. Cross exam. I'm a head member. Oh, we did that. So, what do we want to. At 8 in the evening from our guest, Miss May. She asked for an iced coffee to be brought to her at 9 o'clock on the dot. I think that one, 9 o'clock on the dot, because she was murdered at 9 o'clock. So, if she was getting the iced coffee, she couldn't have seen the murder happen. I'm sticking to that. Press it. Press it. <clears throat> 9 o'clock on the dot, you say? Yes, I confirmed the details several times. She was watching a program on the TV and wished to drink it after she finished that. Nine o'clock. <clears throat> the time of the murder. Yep. I brought it to her at precisely the requested time. Uh, press, present, move on. Uh, press. Hold it. Precisely nine o'clock then? Precisely, exactly. It's a group, it means the same thing. It most definitely said nine o'clock. How can you be so sure? Here we go. And Miss May was quite insistent that it be brought there. Oh, Bellboy, it's easy. I'd like, like, iced coffee at exactly 9 o'clock. Something like that. I kind of was distracted. Therefore, I knocked on her door at the crack of 9 o'clock. Why would she be so particular about the time? Yep. Yeah. Mm. They delivered the iced coffee to our guest, Miss May herself. So. That's the end. Look at the autopsy. Yeah. Something, it's 9 o'clock. Um... Precisely on this time. one or this one or uh now go to the last slide last one or two are precisely request of time of course and deliver the iced coffee to our guest yeah. miss may herself it's one of those slides but yeah look at the autopsy report yeah what is it what does it say? nine o'clock has to be <clears throat> in there somewhere no yeah i guess not Uh, 
Yeah. Just press press on where where you are. Let's, let's press everything and see what we can get. You are sure it was Miss April May herself? Yeah, absolutely, sir. Absolutely? Yes, sir. As in, so very absolutely, sir, that it's an endearing mannerism of mine. It is. It's very endearing. Come, you're so very certain. Uh, trust me, you don't forget. <laughs> well, and I, I brought room service, sir. She had big gigantic. She, she, the guest, sir, favored me with him. Uh, in embracer, sir. Embracer? Is that French for embrace? Embrace. <laughs> it's French for a kiss, sir. It's, but I'm not a French kiss, sir. It's more peck on the cheek, yeah. Why would she have done that? Oh, come on, you know. Yes. I believe perhaps she was momentarily swayed by my prim demeanor. Sure. Even the moment I shall never, ever forget, sir. It's <laughs> <laughs> Sounds mm. pretty fishy to me. I think our Miss May was up to something and wanted the bellboy to remember her. Literally had, didn't have to do anything. It's no good. There's nothing there. <clears throat> is, is that it? <laughs> it is. It is. It is. And finally, you understand. This bellboy has absolutely no reason to lie. Now, if you have any decency, you will end this ridiculous, tedious cross-examination. <laughs> yeah. It was a bit tedious. Yeah. <laughs> the witness may leave the stand. Man. Can't let this happen. Get, uh, can yeah, I? protest. You gotta protest. If you Some give up, it's a guilty verdict. Really? Did uh, you do that one time? In some cases, it's like that, yeah. Wow, okay. Wait! Please wait! Yeah! What does the defendant have something to add? One last question. Let me ask one last question. What does prim mean? <laughs> Your Honor, I must object. This charade of justice is going on long enough. Now, 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 Mr. Edgeworthy. Calm it down. All right, Mr. Wright, I'll give you one more question. That's it. All right. It's riding on okay. this. Go ahead and save now. Just in case <laughs> yeah. give you a... This is really it now. This is my <laughs> last chance. Unless I save, and then I'll have infinite <laughs> chances. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What happened ever? <laughs> what do I ask him about? <laughs> yeah. Bed making. No. Hey. Um. Check in <clears throat> room service. There were two champagne glasses. Oh. In the hotel room. That were. That that might be it. So uh, you want me? Which one do you want to say? Room service. Room service. Yeah, I don't think the bellboy has anything to do with either of the other two. Tell me again about the room service. Again, sir. Exactly 9 o'clock, I delivered room service. It was May's room at 3.03. The guest had requested iced coffee. $18 was the charges I would Hold it! $18 for an iced coffee? Mm -hmm. That's robbery! <laughs> yeah. I see. 2017? $18? <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't that seem oh. a bit expensive? Press! <laughs> oh. Yes, well, iced coffee for two, you know, and we don't skimp on the ice there. There we go. What did he say? What did you say? <laughs> what did I say? Oh, or, or rather, it is quiet. Bellboy, tell us the truth now. Was someone else staying in Miss May's room? There we go. Now we got. I object. That was objectionable. <laughs> what? <laughs> Try again. Objection overruled. You will answer the question. Oh, here we go. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Why did you not mention this in your testimony? Oh, take him to town. Yeah. Well, well, sir, you, you, you didn't ask. Nice try. That's the sort of thing you're normally supposed to mention. Is there a rule book on three that? Three for it's, three it's liars. Yes. I know, yeah. Is there, is there, is there a good... good Barista there, Mr. Edgewood, who... <gasps> I know that name. He asked me not to mention if I was specifically asked, sir. Oh. It's... Oh. <laughs> it is a, you fool. Ha! <laughs> big liar. You're a big <laughs> fat liar. I've done it. I've won. How? <laughs> done. Not guilty. <laughs> Miss April May checked into a twin room. With, with a man. A man. <gasps> Correct? Yes, yes, sir. Then, when you brought them room service, you didn't see that man in the room? Oh, that's right, sir. Mmm. Yeah. Your Honor, we have just learned of another person involved who may have been the murderer. Oh, whoa now, Phoenix. Hang on. <laughs> in light of this new fact, I hold that it's impossible to judge the defendant. Wouldn't you agree, Mr. Edgeworth? Is there any, is 
And who, Mr. Rad? Who is this other person? Simple. It was. Uh, the man with Miss May. Yeah, it's, it's a bit of a softball. The man who checked in with Miss May. You're on. As has been previously revealed, Miss April May was tapping the victim's phone. Yet Miss May herself has an alibi at the time of the murder. However, that does not clear the man that was with her. The bellboy saw no one else in the room at the time of the murder. It's too late. Too late? That's how courts work. I suppose you'd like <laughs> it if it was too late, wouldn't you? Like that, wouldn't you? After all, it was you who hid the presence of the other man from this court. Mm. Oh, the upstart. Amateur. These, these accusations are ludicrous. Luda! <laughs> <laughs> That's enough. The court acknowledges the defense's argument. I expect the prosecution and the defense to look into this matter fully. Mm. Am I understood yet? Starting with April May. Yes, 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 Your Honor. <laughs> yeah. That's all for today. The trial of Bay. Court is adjourned. Yeah. Boom. And Ooh, we have well, stayed Maya's execution yeah. <laughs> for one day. <laughs> yeah. Nice. All right. Lobby number one. Okay. On the next episode of Riff Arcade, trial day one finished. Days two through 78 <laughs> coming up next. <laughs> oh.